Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I'm here to show you how to perform the perfect Auspex gas join. First of all, we need to make sure we have the right equipment. PPE, cutting tools, either the ratchet pipe shear or multi-layer tube cutter, Auspex gas pipe, calibrator tool, Auspex fittings, crimp ring repair tool, jaws, and approved battery tooling, either the Romax Compact Twin Turbo or Romax 4000, or alternatively, the hand ratchet tool with the go, no-go gauge. The first step is to cut the pipe straight. Before making the cut, inspect your blade for any damage. We then use the calibrator tool to correct any deformities that may have occurred during the cutting of the pipe. This will leave us with a perfectly round surface. Next, we select our fitting. Remove the protective cap and inspect the copper crimp ring for any dents. If there are any dents, we can use the copper crimp ring repair tool to correct those. We now insert the pipe into the fitting until it is visible through the witness hole. The next step is to select the right jaw. Blue coloured jaws from 16 to 25 mil and yellow coloured jaws for 32 mil. Place the jaws into the tool, ensuring that the locking pin is all the way home. Next step is to place the fitting into the jaw mouth. Press and hold to complete the join. For 32mm fittings, repeat the same process. Place the fitting into the jaw housing in the groove in the jaw. Now press and hold to complete the crimp. Alternatively, a hand ratchet tool can be used. This has the added feature of a ratchet, which means the tool can be operated in short, sharp bursts in confined spaces. Finally, we use a go, no-go gauge, which will not pass over an uncrimped fitting, however, will easily pass over a crimped fitting. This will ensure that your ratchet crimp tool is correctly calibrated. And there you have it, a perfectly executed Auspex gas join. Auspex gas must be installed by a licensed plumber. Certification is available through the Auspex gas website. Some states and territories require that all plumbers be trained by the manufacturer, so check your local authorities for more information.